guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Vitor Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Nagy and I'm an Asian enthusiast. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about the purpose and operation of reverse current circuit breaker using the circuit arrangement of a DC generating system in a particular type of aircraft wherein the reverse current circuit breaker is used in conjunction with the reverse current cutout relay. So let us start the topic. Reverse current circuit breaker operation So friends, the purpose of reverse current circuit breaker is, as the name says, reverse current. So this circuit breaker prevents the reverse current from flowing from the battery or the bus bar end towards the generator whenever the generator is shut down. That means the flow of reverse current will be cut off by using this type of unit called as a reverse current circuit breaker. That is the purpose of reverse current circuit breaker. Okay. So a reverse current circuit breaker which I'm going to explain, which is of a particular type, consists of contacts. One is called as auxiliary contact and the other one is called as main contact. Suppose this is a main contact and this is the auxiliary contact. Okay, so these contact auxiliary contact and this is your main contact now these contacts they are connected in a circuit suppose these are the two contact points which should be connected by means of this contact there's another contact okay and likewise for this contact suppose this is one of the contact point this is another contact point this is connected in another circuit okay so this main contact this one if it is closed it is connecting to main bus bar okay suppose this is the main bus bar okay so from this main bus bar the supply is given to consumers for the consumer equipments okay and of course the current gets the grounding path by means of the consumer equipments okay these are the electrical equipments next from this bus bar from this main bus bar supply also goes to batteries suppose this is a battery this is the ground level of the battery okay so this is the battery so if current would be coming from where does the current come friends as like i have told you in this topic i am considering the dc generating system of a particular type of aircraft that means a dc generator is there so the output of that generator is given and by means of this uh, reverse current circuit breaker it is given to the main bus bar and the consumers okay so these two contacts how they will close is the question now so once they will be closed if these contacts are carrying the current they will forward the supply to the main bus bar and batteries okay so these contacts they are connected to the circuit breaker by means of this switch okay or you can say a latch there's a latch this is the circuit breaker okay so this circuit breaker if it is pressed it will connect this okay this is the circuit breaker and it's having this shaft which is connected to a latch like this the other latch is here okay and it is connected to a coil that means 
and the end of this coil is connected here okay i will erase this much part so this part of this reverse current circuit breaker this part is called as the magnet unit and these are the contacts of the circuit breaker okay so this much part which i am drawing in this dotted line is your reverse current circuit breaker okay reverse current circuit breaker so what did we have in the circuit breaker we have a main contact and auxiliary contact the main contact when closed will allow the current to flow into the bus bar and the batteries the auxiliary contact it will connect to the generator shunt field winding which i'll show you after some time so let me just extend this connection here okay so this connection is coming here now as i have told you friends the reverse current circuit breaker i'm explaining it by connecting it in a dc generating system wherein there will be a reverse current cutout okay so in addition to the reverse current cutout in this circuit which i am explaining there is a line contactor as well okay so let us discuss those things okay suppose this is the generator this is its ground terminal okay negative terminal and this is its positive terminal okay from where the output is taken from here the output is going like this right so this is the output carrying line of the generator so in this output obviously voltage regulator is connected voltage regulator is connected okay i am not explaining the voltage regulator here friends for voltage regulators like carbon fiber voltage regulator vibrating contact type voltage regulator i have made another videos for which i will be sharing the link below okay so these voltage regulators they are connected to the shunt field winding of the generator why i am saying shunt friends again the same thing the generator which i am considering is of the shunt type generator which are the best generators to be used in the aircraft why because these generator voltages can be easily regulated so suppose this is the shunt field winding of the generator okay this is your shunt field winding so friends this is the field winding of the generator which needs to be energized by taking the output of the generator so the output of the generator is this one which is going like this okay and via the voltage regulator it should be connected to the shunt field winding right so it is not directly connected friends right now this is connected to this by means of the auxiliary contact of the reverse current cutout so i'll connect this like this you can see the regulator output is going and it is connected to this point if this contact which is called as the auxiliary contact is closed then the output of the generator will go like this and it will come like this and by means of this conductive path okay which i am drawing here okay it will be given to the shunt winding okay so this is how the shunt winding is connected by means of the regulator so if you can see again there is a generator this is the voltage regulator is going like this by means of the auxiliary part of the reverse current circuit breaker if closed the current will go ahead like this and then this current is given to the shunt winding and that's how the regulation of the voltage is done right now let us go ahead to understand the explanation of reverse current circuit breaker and some more components in the circuit okay now we can see that friends the output when it is going at this voltage regulator it is also taken like this and it is given to the reverse current cutout relay okay so you can see it is going like this and i am giving it to the coil of reverse current cutout relay so you can see this is the voltage coil of reverse current cutout relay okay i am not writing here it's understandable friends in the reverse current cutout there are two coils one is voltage coil and the other one is current coil so right now this is the voltage coil having many turns of thin copper wire okay and it's getting the grounding path okay so when this output is going like this and it is given to the voltage coil of reverse current cutout relay okay while the current is flowing like this i will draw the current direction it is going like this okay when it is going like this it is getting the grounding path that means this coil will get energized okay it will produce some magnetic effect because of that magnetic effect friends there will be a contact which will close so i am drawing a core like this here suppose this is the contact 
this is a heavy duty contact friends it will close two points this point and this point when this coil is energized in addition to this voltage coil there is another coil okay which i am drawing here so from the output terminal of this i am taking that coil there is a current coil so current coil is here okay it's having only few turns like this okay and the other terminal of this is going like this okay and this is connected here okay and one more terminal goes like this which we will explain after some time so you can see whatever current is coming from the generator like this it's going okay and when it is going it's going to the voltage coil and also it's going to the current coil okay so initially the current is flowing like this so it, you can see friends clearly here voltage coil and current coil right now only voltage coil is energized so when voltage coil is energized it will pull this contact downwards so this contact will close right and when this contact closes this contact is connected to okay or this point is connected to the coil of a line contactor like this okay and it is also grounded so i'm showing you the grounding path here okay so this coil is of a line contactor okay and that line contactor will have a contactor over here i'll just erase this which is of the reverse current circuit breaker okay and you can see a line contactor is here one point is connected to the reverse current circuit breaker and the other point is here okay so this other point is connected to this current coil so with the arrow which i have drawn here coming from the current coil so you can see the current coil here the current flow is happening like this whatever current is coming from the current coil it's going here and also in one more path which is this one okay so this is connected to this point okay so this point and this point if they are closed okay then whatever current is there that is the output of the generator will go by means of this contact to this coil and this coil will be magnetized okay and this is the magnet system of the circuit breaker when this is magnetized it will be holding the circuit closed so now via this coil the current will flow by means of this contact it will flow to the main bus bar in the batteries okay so i hope friends you are getting the diagram so i'll just make it clear by using another ink this is your line contactor this is your line contactor okay so this line contactor is a unit which is connecting the reverse current circuit breaker and the reverse current cutout relay so this is your reverse current cutout relay which i am drawing over here okay or which i am i am closing within this dotted blue line so what is this this is your reverse current cutout relay i'll write here reverse current cutout relay okay so in this schematic diagram you are having a reverse current cutout relay and you have a reverse current circuit breaker which is within this dotted line right and since both of them they have been connected to the circuit we are using a line contactor to connect both of them okay so now friends let us understand how does the system work as of now i have just shown you the diagram okay or the schematic diagram so friends initially what happens whenever the engine is running and it is normally running the generator is producing a positive supply okay a regulated voltage so at that point of time what happens is whatever is the output voltage it will be the tolerance range so in that case whatever the current is coming from the generator it will go by means of this path okay voltage regulator path and it will go like this and it will wait at this point so that means the current is waiting at this point okay it is not going ahead because right now this contact is open now if you can see that the current is also following this path so current will be following this path you can see this arrow it is going like this and then the output current which is coming to the generator is given to the voltage coil and current coil of this reverse current cutout relay so whatever current is going in this voltage coil okay that current will energize this coil it's because this coil is getting a grounding path and whenever a coil gets grounding path it gets energized when it gets energized it will close this contact it will shift here let us remember that this contact is closed here now you can see the current also goes through the current coil which is this one small one 
Okay, so it is going like this, and now the current splits. It goes here also. It goes here also. So in this direction, the current will go, and since this contact is closed, it will go and energize this coil. And this coil is of the line conductor. Okay, so when this coil is getting the current, okay, it also gets energized because it's having a grounding path. Okay, so since this coil has got energized. This contact will close. Now, when this contact closes, what happens, friends? You can see this point again. So, whatever current was coming from the current coil goes to this path and also to this path. Remember, this is the output current of the generator. So, this is going like this. And since this contact is closed now because of the line contactor coil being energized, the current will go ahead like this. And by means of this coil or the magnet system of the reverse current circuit breaker, the current will go ahead by means of this coil. And now, when you press the reverse current circuit breaker, this button, both these contacts will close. Auxiliary contact actually is main contact. So whatever current was waiting here, it will go ahead and it will be given to the shunt winding of the generator. That means the shunt winding of the generator gets its current from the auxiliary contact. Okay, and the main contact when closed gives current to the main bus bar and batteries. Okay, friends. I'll repeat again. The main bus bar and battery gets the current from the main contact. Okay, because it's closed and the shunt winding of the generator gets the output current of the generator by means of the auxiliary contact of the reverse current circuit breaker like this okay so that's what happens in normal operation hence the out generator is powering the main bus bar and batteries and also the shunt winding is getting the supply because of this reverse current circuit breaker now next case if suppose you are shutting down the generator so whenever you are shutting down the generator the voltage Okay, the voltage of the generator will be reduced. So when the voltage decreases, what will happen now? This side, okay, which you, on this board you can see, this side is the left hand side, okay, where we have the generator. So this side is having a lower voltage. And if you see the other side, we have the battery. So battery obviously would have got charged and would have, it would have a voltage, okay, which at this point of time when the engine is shutting down will be greater. So the voltage of the battery will be greater. Okay, suppose I'm drawing a an arrow upward to tell you that the voltage is more compared to the generator voltage okay so what we have as of now is the generator voltage is lower than the voltage of the battery in which case friends when the engine is shut down and you know that friends the current always flows from higher potential to lower potential so in this case since the battery side is having a higher voltage current will start flowing okay so when this current flows it flows from this side to this side because that is the higher voltage side and the lower voltage side so whatever current flows from battery end towards the generator end that current is called as a reverse current suppose this is the current which is coming from the battery like this i am using blue ink to show you the current flow it is going like this okay so this is the reverse current so reverse current goes by this main contact and then it's going through this coil and then goes by means of this contact like this in this case it's going to the current coil so now it is going like this reverse current is going like this like this now reverse current will be in this direction this black arrow was the normal current when generator was running okay the output current of the generator but this blue colored arrow is the reverse current which is coming from here like this and it is in this direction okay that means this current coil now it is being energized in the opposite direction so since it is being energized in the opposite direction, whatever the magnetic effect it's having, the magnetic effect of this current coil will not assist the magnetic effect of this voltage coil. Why? Because both the magnetic effects are different. So now what happens is this uh, core gets demagnetized or neutralized because of which this contact will open. This contact is of the reverse current cutout relay. So when this contact opens like this, okay, the reverse current cannot go ahead so when this contact of the reverse current cutout opens what happens is the generator is disconnected from the battery and hence we say that the generator has been prevented from the motoring effect okay what if suppose its contact did not open in that case the battery current which is the reverse current would go to the generator and carry out an effect which is called as the motoring effect that means the generator will start behaving like a motor okay what is a motor friends a motor is a device or electrical device in which if we give the electrical supply it starts rotating so right now the battery is giving supply to this generator okay so it would act like a motor so in that scenario the generator gets demagnetized okay and this is what we dialo want hence we have the reverse current cutout now let, now let us discuss the case when this contact does not open this one it is still closed why it is closed suppose 
the arcing of this uh, has taken place and because of the arcing the contacts have got welded here and when this contact gets welded over here it cannot open because of the arcing since the engine is in the shutdown state there will be mechanical load on the generator and because of this it will withdraw more current from the battery that means the reverse current will be more more, more denudation will take place in the generator so now in this case what happens is in this reverse current circuit breaker whatever the reverse current is flowing okay there is a preset value or preset trip value of this contact okay whenever the reverse current is flowing initially it is less but now as more and more reverse current is flowing why it's because there will be more mechanical overloading of the generator because it is connected to the engine okay and that's why it's drawing more current so when it is drawing more current okay uh, the reverse current will reach such a value that it will uh, produce a strong magnetic field over here now in the reverse current circuit breaker so this coil will have more strong magnetic field which will be in opposite direction to the normal magnetization of this magnet unit of the reverse current circuit breaker so in that case what will happen this magnet will get neutralized and it will be pulled that means this latch will be whatever latch is here this latch will be repelled so when this latch repels like this, this will open and this shaft will move out or CB will trip. That means the circuit breaker will trip out. Okay. Hence, the reverse current flow will be prevented from reaching the generator and the generator will be prevented by the reverse current circuit breaker in this way. Okay. So friends, I hope you have understood whatever I have explained till now. Now I'll quickly summarize whatever we have discussed in today's session. Okay, so in today's session we have discussed about the reverse current circuit breaker. Okay, wherein we discussed that it has a magnet system which consists of this coil and this latch mechanism. Okay, this is the magnet system and it also has some contacts called as the main contact and auxiliary contact. Both these contacts are closed when you push this button. Okay, next uh, after that we have discussed that this reverse current breaker. Okay, what does it do? The purpose of the reverse current circuit breaker is to protect the power generating system whenever a higher magnitude of fault current or reverse current is flowing that's why we discussed that uh, whenever the reverse current strength is higher then this reverse current circuit breaker will come in op operation and it will trip out so that the higher magnitude of reverse current does not go back into the generator and destroy it okay so that is the purpose of reverse current circuit breaker after that we have discussed its operation okay and operation we have discussed it by connecting it in a circuit of dc generating system this is the dc generating system wherein we have a reverse current cutout and a line contactor to connect the reverse current cutout and the reverse current circuit breaker that is the reverse current circuit breaker is used in conjunction with the reverse current cutout by connecting a line contactor in this circuit after that we have discussed that if these contacts are closed and the power supply from the generator is coming then this main contact provides supply to the main bus bar and batteries and the auxiliary contact provides supply to the shunt field winding of the generator right next after that we have discussed about the operation wherein we discuss about two cases first case when the generator is producing a normal voltage or is at the regulated voltage level and the other case is when the engine is shut down that means when the generator is developing a lower voltage so let us discuss first about the case where the generator is developing a normal voltage and the voltage is within tolerance so in that case what happens is if here is the generator this is the positive and the negative end which is grounded to the shunt field winding right of the generator so this first you know the generator is going like this it is going at this end and at this end so that means it is going in two directions one is through the voltage level it is going it is going through this and by means of the auxiliary contact which is closed it goes into the shunt field winding and that's how the regulation of the generator is being achieved okay with a reverse current circuit breaker contact in between the voltage regulator and the shunt field winding right next after that we have discussed that the current also goes in this path where this current goes to the coils of reverse current cutout relay so in this reverse current cutout relay we have a current coil and a voltage coil the voltage coil is of thin winding okay so whatever the current is coming it is given to this voltage coil which is getting grounding path from here so this gets energized and because of this it closes this contact so this contact shift here and it closes so when it closes what happens is so right now assume that this contact is closed so now we can see that the current in addition to the voltage coil it is also going to the current coil which is having few tons of thick wire it is going like this and then the current goes in two paths one is this path and the other path now this path it is closed already by the 
uh, voltage coil. So what will happen? Whatever the current is going in this path, it will follow this side, and current goes in this path as well and waits at this point. So when the output current from the generator, which is coming through the current coil, is coming, it's going through this path and it is energizing the coil of this line conductor. When this coil gets energized, having the grounding path, so what happens is this contact will close. So now whatever the current is coming from the current coil which is sitting at this point will go ahead and by means of this coil of the reverse current circuit breaker it will go by means of this main contact to the main bus bar and battery hence the output of the generator is going to the main bus bar and batteries for charging them from the main bus bar we have the consumer equipments or the electrical loads which are getting the power okay so this is what happens in normal operation now if suppose you are we have shut down the generator and the generator voltage is getting reduced Suppose the generator voltage is getting reduced, there will come a point where the generator voltage becomes lesser than the battery voltage. So when the generator voltage becomes lesser than the battery voltage, as you know, current always flows from higher potential to lower potential. The current will flow from battery end. So you can see this current is flowing, okay, which I have shown in blue color. So this current is called as the reverse current. Why? Because the forward current was in this direction, which was the normal current. Right now the current is flowing in the opposite direction. That is called as the reverse current. So the current is coming from the battery. If it goes to the generator, Okay, that is the reverse current which goes to the generator will cause motoring effect to happen which will cause the generator to demagnetize. So what happens is when the current from the battery is coming like this, okay, when it passes through this current coil, this current coil magnetization will be a, in opposite direction to the magnetization of this voltage coil. Okay, at that point of time whenever the current is going coming, so what will happen is this contact will open and cut out. That means the reverse current will be cut off at this point and hence the reverse current cannot go to the generator. This is how the current reverse current cut out comes in operation and prevent the reverse current from going to the generator. But let's suppose that the cutout relay did not function. The cutout relay is stuck. That means the contact of this cutout relay is welded over here because of the arcing of this contact. Okay, because of the arcing of this contact, since the reverse current is higher and arcing is happening, maybe this contact has welded over here. That means this contact does not open. So now when this contact doesn't open, reverse current will start flowing further and by means of this closed contact, okay, this uh, contact will be held closed. And now this reverse current will also go to this uh, current coil and by means of this part, it will go like this and it will be given to the generator. Hence, motoring effect will happen. But the moment this happens, Okay, uh, more and more current will be drawn from the batteries and as more and more current is drawn from the batteries that means the reverse current strength is increasing. There will come a point when the reverse current reaches up the preset uh, trip value of this uh, reverse current circuit breaker. So what happens in that case this magnet system of the reverse current circuit breaker will be uh, producing a magnetic field which will be in opposite direction to the magnetization of this magnet unit of the reverse current circuit breaker. So what will happen? The core of this uh, magnet system gets magnetized and hence it will be neutralized. That means the magnet system of the reverse current circuit breaker will be neutralized. When this is neutralized, this latch will be repelled. Okay, This will be repelled and this will open. When this opens, okay, main contact and auxiliary contact both will open. So in that case will happen, the higher magnitude of reverse current will stop from going towards the generator end and that's where the main role of the reverse current circuit breaker comes in effect okay hence the moral of the story reverse current circuit breaker prevents higher magnitude of fault current or reverse current from going to the power generating source end okay or we can say that the reverse current circuit breaker prevents the power generating source from higher magnitude of uh, reverse current or fault current okay how by disconnecting the circuit okay that means this will trip so when the circuit breaker trips remember that friends next time you have to reset it before you use the circuit again when everything is fine so friends i hope you have understood today's topic i'll come up again with a new topic in my next session till then you enjoy learning this topic and thank you